Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to A Gentleman and a Scholar. A scholar. Uh, I'm Excalibur. You're the, you're the scholar. It's Dan Barry, and uh, we're with David Starr. So, uh, Real name, Howie Berkowitz. Not Howie. Not even close. <laughs> My, uh, my dad actually wanted to name me George, though. My mom was so happy that I wasn't named George. They divorced? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, there yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone uh, we've interviewed has been from a broken family, so. <laughs> I think that makes sense, you know? It's like a lot of self-loathing. Everybody that is involved in wrestling or that's, you know, very big fan of wrestling, not everybody, but a lot of people come from, you know, broken homes, is because they kind of lacked a strong, you know, paternal figure. And then so they found that kind of in wrestling. This is way further than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought, you, thought, you, thought, you thought we were going to be asking you how you like your father. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, who doesn't have daddy issues, uh, who has a great family, M. Jeff. M. Jeff, really? M. Jeff is a solid fam familial wow. background. Nuclear family. What? M. Jeff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've decided M. Jeff is how we're going to with that one. I call him Dennis. <laughs> Why? Fucking that's, Dennis. Well, that's the same reason why I call him M. Jeff. My girlfriend uh, has like a law degree, like her bachelor's. She has, she has to go to law school afterwards. But uh, she got me super into all these like trial things. I watch. I just. I've been obsessed with the OJ thing. Like, Amateur bad. lawyer. Yeah. No, 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 not, not even yeah. close. Um, like, Smoky weed. Watch you make me a murderer. And suddenly, <laughs> <laughs> you know, fucking the attorney. You know what was really interesting is I had uh, a jury duty last year. And for OJ. Uh, it was, yeah, actually. It was, it was uh, the sports here. memorabilia thing. Yeah. What do you think of OJ? You think he's innocent? I believe you. So what's it you and merch, man? What's going on? I, I sold a lot of it. I have, as I, long as there was a nice orderly line? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. For context of those that don't know, oh, yeah, yeah. David Starr is the soup Nazi. <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't monopolize my time. <laughs> Don't linger in front of the merch table if we're having a conversation. There's people that do this. That talk, 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 talk. Yeah, everything's going fine. Yeah, it's back and forth, fine. Then they just stop. And then they just stand there. You but know, not everybody's super confident in social situations. No, no, I know, and that's so fine. So wait, wait to be insensitive to those people. No, that's, yeah. no, that, no, I get it. That's what some people said, but it's Dick. not. Yeah. But, no, it's, <laughs> and then, uh, Actually, two things happened here. Yeah. Matt pulled I'll up his email. Pat, no, I get it. I'll take care of it. Oh. Don't touch it. Don't you fucking touch that. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, no. I, oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, All right, you're saying. <laughs> no one's going to know. Yeah, nobody knows. Just for us. Sit down, Triple H. We don't need to just that. Dinosaurs are terrifying. We have three of them here. Bring them out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and defend like the life of dinosaurs. It's better for humans. How progressive! I know. Are. <laughs> yeah, the Bernie Sanders of professional wrestling. It's better for humans uh, to not have dinosaurs around. You know, I, I, well, no, I, you, no, I have to say that because they've been dead forever. I don't want dinosaurs to start popping up. It's better for humans terrifying. if there's less humans too, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Just, now we're in the put ourselves over corner. Who is the person that you met that said, oh, I really like your work, that you were like, oh. It was Terry Funk and Mick Foley. And all of a sudden, Mick Foley walked through the door. And like, I'd met him before, so like, that was, it was still super cool to see him because he's a man. Uh, Foley? Uh, you know, he's he's super cool dude. Drop that name. You asked me to drop that name. <laughs> Literally, this question was based on name. Just so he can do his... his, his, oh, his, his yeah. He has a psych yeah. edge. Yeah. <laughs> so, he says it and then he goes, and we all see him thinking he's just trying to walk through or whatever. But then he stopped and just talking to us and then he said, hold on, someone else wants to come up. And he opens the door and Terry Funk like, Hey, you son of a bitch. I really like the heat you put on. Yeah. Like 12 minutes into the <laughs> scramble. Oh, glad you, wait, be, you had to beat the shit up. It's so cute. The... <laughs> Look at these fucking knees right here. I think I got <laughs> surgery on these bad boys. Continue with the happy birthday conversation. My dad went to college and Bruce Brady, but I didn't bring that up. That's sick. Everything. You should bring that up. My dad left on my first birthday. Oh, we don't have a birthday. You know, you don't get. You don't get paid extra for this guy. No, he does. He's <laughs> stop, stop. Blur the face. Blur his face, and no one knows who he is. Um. Oh wow. Oh man. You know what? Fuck you guys. 
I was the most over guy on the show and I had a load in my pants. Wait, you, not, you said you never did an interview with Marty? Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Yeah, neither. I don't get the cool stuff. I don't know. I don't know if you know that the, like the C plot of this show is us being like bitter vets. <laughs> yeah. Like, so, know, yeah. Like all the opportunities that, that we don't. There's, get. A, there's an undertone here of like two guys whose friends made it. <laughs> like, yeah. That's that's about it. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed that we are like the C show in the best friends like high school yeah. wrestling oh, network yeah. universe. In, in the so, Civil like, War, we're yeah. like Jessica Jones and Netflix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, well, like, I don't even know if we're that. We're like the Inhumans on on ABC <laughs> streaming only. <Yeah. laughs> You know what? Fuck you guys! I was the most over guy on the show and I had a load in my pants! <laughs>